I'm here to support the struggle in Rossport. Um, I think what's happening there is absolutely outrageous and it's extraordinary to see Maura Harrington in prison and people who have ripped off the country for the last several years walking free on the golf courses of Ireland. So, you know, it's a bizarre and uh, absurd situation and, you know, I hope that some awakening will happen among the Irish people to realise what's happening in Rossport is extremely important, not just for Rossport, but for the country as a whole. And people should take an interest in this. It's the best way to learn what's happening political, politically in Ireland, is to go to Rossport and see for yourself and meet the people there and, and offer your solidarity to them. Well, we're here today to protest about the arrest of Mara Harrington and her been put in jail. Uh, the fact that she's got a month in jail is an absolute disgrace. Mara was one of the defenders of the resources of Ireland. She's been put in jail by those acting on behalf of the fat calves, those acting on behalf of the wealthy who have scammed over 200 billion. Some estimates put it at 450 billion. If that money had not been scammed away, it would be available today uh, to avert the whole recession. The country would be in a totally different position. But thanks to Fianna Fáil and now the Green Party, you have a situation that is an absolute disgrace. Well, I'm here to support a very brave woman, Maura Harrington, who's standing against the power of the Shell Corporation and the Irish state, who are determined, it seems, to drive this pipeline through North Mayo, uh, despite the overwhelming majority of the people of that area opposing it. Uh, and she, in taking her stand, is standing for basic democracy and for the right of people of Rossport and North Mayo uh, to decide the future of their own environment and not to have a massive dangerous gas pipeline rammed through their area against their will. Uh, and I think it is absolutely outrageous that when bankers in this country who are responsible for running the economy into the ground, massive corrupt deals are allowed walk free uh, that a woman who simply defending democracy and defending her own area is languishing in prison. It's absolutely outrageous and it shows the incredible hypocrisy and double standards that seem to operate in this country. And I hope people will come to the support and aid of Maura Harrington and force the Irish government to have Maura released uh, and go beyond that to stop Shell and ensure that uh, the Shell terminal is put out to sea where it should be and indeed that the resources, the gas resources that are now in the hands of Shell that were given away to them by the Irish government to be put back into the hands of the Irish people. We're standing here outside the Department of Justice having a solidarity protest for Maura Harrington who as we speak here is incarcerated in Mountjoy Jail at the behest of Shell Oil which is an absolute disgrace and people are absolutely furious that an innocent woman from Mayo is jailed for protecting her community from being decimated by Shell Oil, a company that internationally has a track record second to none for breaching human rights, having people executed at their behest in Nigeria and raping and pillaging countries. And we're here today to say that the Department of Justice must intervene and release this woman immediately. Her family are crying out for her to be released. She's been supported by a majority of Irish people. And Shell Oil have come here and taken the resources from, from, from around our island and used them to line their own pockets. And to make it worse, the government here, the Dublin government, have colluded with it every step of the way. We need those resources to be channeled directly back into communities across this country to ensure that we can get through this recession and promote job creation and to make sure that we come out of the recession rather than being plunged deeper into it by Shell Oil.